There's no. 20 cameras around you. You're a bit like, you don't know this person. You don't know this person at all. Yeah. They've oh. probably not been on camera, so you feel like you need to kind of lead. Lead. Yeah. And then what? I'm going to stick it on him as well. I don't even know if, you know, if he likes the same food as me. One thing like, about me is I'm going to fall in love. <laughs> it takes maybe two days of talking, and I love you. Really? Yeah, yeah no, because after really the bad. first day, I think of the future. Already. So do I. Oh my God, do I. It's really no, bad. Shame. I start planning yeah. holidays and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And He'd convinced me that he could pay for the hotel in London, and then like it came to it on the day, and we were at the train station. He was like, oh, I forgot my card. So I paid for my whole birthday and put myself in debt. <laughs> what, what did you he find? He didn't even have a job. <laughs> One Extra presents Pressed. Hey guys, it's your girl, Adjola Patron. You know the vibes already. Hey guys, it's me, Maren Musa, your Miss Unproblematic. And welcome back to another Pressed podcast episode. Woo! Woo! And guys, we have a special guest in the building. I'm going to let her introduce herself because she's our girl. Thank you. I am Chloe Burrows. You probably know me from season seven of Love Island. But if you're cool, you know, moving like YouTube, podcast, did a bit of slips, you know, I'm just out here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I was going to say, you've done so much since Love Island. I don't feel like you need to attach that anymore. Yeah, let's get rid of it then. Like, Chloe versus the world. Yes. Celebs go dating. Tap out. Yeah. yeah. Bad, ba- baby. bad baby. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God, I forgot it. How bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fuck yeah. You up. Yeah. How was oh. Celebs go dating? Fun. It's a very fun experience. What I will say is I think people forget the name of the show. It's celebs go dating. It's not celebs get in a big fat relationship and fall in love. Like Mm. you're there to date and learn to date. So I personally really enjoyed myself. Yeah, because you were out there for like, you were shooting for two months, wasn't it? Yeah, two and a half. Oh, wow. That's actually long. Yeah. Yeah, it was was a lot. It was like a lot of filming as well. But yeah, if you guys ever get the call, definitely. It's it's just funny. Would you do it, Maz? I I would love to watch you date. I feel, I feel like, like, like you'd be a good work. Yeah, I think I'd really get into the whole thing. Yeah. Like I'd really enjoy but it. But you're not yourself on a date. So do you feel like you... Where's the guys, there's enough. 20 cameras around you. You're a bit like, you don't know this person. You don't know this person at all. Yeah. They've oh. probably not been on camera, so you feel like you need to kind of lead. Lead. Yeah. And then what, I'm going to stick it on him as well. I don't even know if, you know, if he likes the same food as me. So. <laughs> yeah. But that's be fun on the date. Yeah, you that do. But, yeah, no, but that sounds like Maz's cup of tea. Like dating. It'll be fun. I think I'm, like, do I just, the whole interaction, the whole getting to like chat to people, it'll be funny. But I think, it's funny. Because I feel like they, I have really funny date stories that I tell you anyway. Yeah. So I can Do imagine. you go on a lot of dates? I've, been on, I've d- been on a couple of dates, like... Like I've I was never super... been on one. I've been on two, three. Your whole life? Yeah, I don't know. How come? I've just been in like long situationships or, well, no, a date where I don't know them. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Like, okay. I've d- like I've dated or like the person I've seen, we've gone out for dinner, but yeah. like a date, like a blind date almost. Yeah. I've like, done that once. Yeah. I'm going to do it again. Oh, well, I feel like dating <laughs> is hard anyway. It is. It's, I dating is hell. Do you I've find it up. harder now that you're obviously more visible? Yeah, I do. Well, I don't know. I think I think I've really changed because yeah. before I went on Love Island, I was like in a five year situation shit where I don't think I've, I will ever love someone as much as that because it wasn't real. It was so toxic. It was hell. Oh. It was so bad. Yeah, so, so bad. Five years, like he never made me his girlfriend and he would like <gasps> remind me. He was like, you're not my girlfriend. I don't know why oh, I'm oh, shocked. Oh but I feel, like everyone, <laughs> I feel like every girl's had a relationship like that. Yeah. I've had a relationship like that where you're so devoted and they you feel like you're in a relationship with this person yeah. and they always love to remind you, but you're not my girlfriend. <gasps> yeah. like, but you're making me feel like I am. So yeah. what is this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, have you had that? Yeah. Like it took, there was one of my exes was like, it took us age, like we eventually got there, but after like a gap of not actually talking yeah. and being together, but he just never made me his girlfriend. And I was actually doing girlfriend wifey things and oh it's like gosh. I think you're a bit young and you know yeah. that whole um wanting what it's like a challenge like if he's acting like he don't want me he will want me like yeah. I will make, he will make me you will, you like to prove yourself <laughs> yeah yeah, so, yeah, that's yeah. I but I think he's given me a complex so now I'm like when I meet someone I like fall in love with them really quickly and I just expect the world and then they let me down so then I'm like well, what's wrong with you like yeah. what we've done and, like, yeah. and now I'm like that where you know I my friends are like, the way you behave, like, is it should be studied. So, <laughs> yeah. And now I think, now, now, like, you know, more people know me, like, in life. I'm, I should think, oh, don't act like that. Yeah. But I'm worse. I'm now, my yeah. temper is so small now. Oh and I will just go for the jugular. And then when they don't argue back, I'm like, you're pathetic. Like, it's really unhealthy. And that's why I'm taking a break oh. from playing. <laughs> 
Oh. Maybe you do need a break though. Have you had a break before? No, wow. I hadn't been single until obviously last year. Mm -hmm. And then I've been single for a year now. But obviously I've spoken to people here now. But I, did, I was actively thinking, oh, I want to get in a relationship. And now I'm like, no, like you really shouldn't be, yeah. be but around. But that's growth anywhere. though. It is. I know. Yeah, you know, like some, because sometimes, you know, you can always see other people's problems, but you've actually reflected like, actually, yeah. I can't lie. Maybe I have issues that I need to solve. Oh, I have a problem. Because yeah. you know what? Yeah. They say this thing like, um, if you keep doing the same thing and you're going to expect the same results. Yeah. That's like, a, that's how you say you're crazy or something. I don't know. Yeah. Definition yeah. of insanity. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So yeah, you're actually taking steps. But oh, Sometimes yeah. though, I think it's the guys we go for. Oh my yeah. God. 100%. Like instead of just like clocking things from the start, we just kind of keep staying in the cycle and we don't yeah, need to be that in is that so cycle. True. Yeah. What, so what do you, do you have a type then, Chloe? Because that's interesting, like. I really did until, I will say, it's never good day, it made me really look at myself and what I was doing. <laughs> and my type was just, like, based on looks. It, yeah. And then if, that was it. It was based on looks. And, like, okay. if they were, you know, nice enough to give me a, a text back, that, that was it. Yeah. But I think now I'm looking for, because I see, like, Millie and Liam, they literally love each other Aww. and they just love each other so much. I'm like, I, yeah. do, I do want, I want that. that. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes you not think you want something and then when you get it, it's just like, did I really want, want it? This? Yeah, like, if I was, I suppose if I spoke to someone who was, like, really, really nice now, I'd be like, mm, no, I don't like, yeah, like I don't want this. Not but right. let me ask you guys a question then. Um, when, do you guys date, like, when you're, like, picking out your okay, your, your guys, okay. right, do you not feel like you date upon how they actually make you feel when you're around them and how they make you feel, how you are as a person? Because I feel sometimes we miss that. We have all these lists of, okay, he has to be this, has to be that. Yeah. But how does this guy actually make me feel? Do I feel like my best self around him? Am I my most happiest? Am I my, my, my most safe? Do you like? Do you have like question these when you're picking someone? Or do no, you not? I go for fancy them, and if I want, like, obviously, I have to stop this now. I've grown up. She stopped it last week, but it was based on <laughs> it was based on if I really fancy them, and then like sense of humor is important to me. Yeah, I have to be able to tolerate you. But no, oh my God, I never thought. Wow, does you know? Do I wake up and feel good about myself? I probably woke up like anxious. Like, yeah, oh. no, because when I yeah. think back, yeah, when I used to date yeah. like guys, and I think well, we don't talk anymore. I do think what did I actually like about you? I think they was really good looking. And it's like, there's mm. something about guys that other girls want. Or oh my like, God. It's a yeah. bit of a challenge or it's Lovely. like, oh, and then they give you a little something yeah. and then they step back again. And yeah. then you're like, huh, what's going on? Yeah. And then you like, it's Go like harder. another mission now to yeah. like get that little, <laughs> yeah. And I just think, what is wrong with me? Yeah. And then like, when I think, every time I've never really woke up and felt, oh, I feel at ease. Like sometimes yeah, I'll have that. maybe two yeah. days and then it'll be another day where something, nothing has even happened, yeah. but it's like something has happened. Yeah. It's like, what, why are you not talking to me for? Or, oh. but you won't act like you're not talking to me or just be like, oh, you're hella busy or like whatever. Or you're off. Yeah. Like you're really shitty texts and then, oh my God, can you swear on that? Yeah, Sorry. sometimes. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, you know, like, they're just like, okay. Yeah. And I know. But don't you think that's just guys, though? Because, you know, I've had to learn sometimes guys are just blunt. Like, no. they might not be in a bad mood. They're just quite, like, to the point. Like, because that's yeah, I think that's if you're talking about certain things, but, you yeah. know, like, like checking in or just okay. reass reassuring. I feel like some mm, guys, they they're not reassuring. And it's like, you're making it seem like, oh, I'm like this crazy girl or I'm all of this. But when was, you don't reassure me. Like what mm. have you done to make me feel like yeah. I could be yeah. at ease and feel secure in my position? No. I was seeing someone like quite recently, not well, not that recent, like a few months ago before Celebs Go Dating. And then he went on a night out like he stopped replying to me, it's like Saturday, he stopped replying to me at 7 p.m. And then he calls me the next morning at like 11 a.m. in a hotel room. And I was like, that is bang out of order. Like, what yeah. is wrong with you? Like, you clearly had a girl there. And he was like, what? No, I was with my friends. And then I've just woken up and really hungover. I was like, no, you weren't. And he was oh. like, what are you? And he was looking at me as if I'd actually Crazy. lost a plot. And he seemed genuinely concerned. And I was like, no, I know what boys are like. And he was like, who have you been with? And I was like, well, not you anymore. You're dumped. <laughs> And then I just had to never speak to him again because I was like embarrassed. But I thought, no, because I know boys do that. Yeah, and I just think, how are you out on a night out when you can't even just check in with me? Like, yeah. oh, hey, babe, just got here. Or like, I'm good. Yeah. It's not even like monitoring you. It's just kind of like- Consideration. Yeah, yeah you're just considering my feelings yeah. or feeling reassured or yeah. insecure. Like, it's, it's basic. But I just, I get it. It's hard. But it's like, you can't rule out all guys. 
But it's like, you know, as a girl, like your gut yeah. is not always right. You know. And then we end up looking a bit wild and crazy. Ugh. But I will say, actually, my gut was right. Yeah. So I feel like our guts always are. Yeah. 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 It's never, has, has any of your guts ever been wrong? No. That's why, I've, like, sometimes you just move mad. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like, when you deep it, has your gut ever been wrong? No. No. Never been, oh my God. Well, well I'm just going to carry on now. Yeah, just got <laughs> wrong. Let the gut do the leading. <laughs> Not my head and my heart, it's my gut feeling of oh, vengeance. Yeah. Do you feel like it had to do with, like, when you think of, like, dating, yeah, obviously, you st when did you guys start dating, like, age-wise? I never started dating I don't really think I started until, dating. um, oh my God, I don't, I think I went on my first date when I was, oh, I was 24. You right. think I was 24? So that yeah. means, technically, like, did your parents know, so obviously at school, you have the little, like, school relationships, that's kind of the the early stages of like learning how to court, how to be dated, how to date. So do you feel like you had that, you guys had that relationship with your parents, like they guide you. Cause you know, you tell your parents things like, mm. mom, Jason was, his attitude was weird, he didn't text me back yeah. and they can kind of tell you, don't overthink. Do you, did you guys have that with your parents where you could talk about dating and your relationship? I think by the time I started talking to boys, my parents were going through a really messy divorce. Oh, so okay. I just looked at my friends, my friends in school were probably bad examples. <laughs> yeah. So I think I started off on the wrong foot anyways. Yeah. And then as I got older, I think, what did I do? I had a really nice boyfriend actually when I was younger. I couldn't fault him. He's okay. had a baby now. <laughs> 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 oh my God. What about you? Did yeah. you? Um, no, nah, because I kind of thought, I think I just assumed that, no, because I feel like my mum kind of made it seem like I shouldn't be talking to guys and made it seem like I should be focusing on school. Yeah. So I just naturally wouldn't go to her for those things. Okay. So I would go uh, to yeah. my friends. Yeah. And we were all just struggling with guys. So it was just... <laughs> So it was just like, <laughs> I was just sneaking. I remember I'd be like, oh, mum, I'm going here. But I'd be sneaking, jumping the trains to go into London to meet these guys that yeah. were useless. Oh. But you know, sometimes I think about certain situations I've been in and I think that's actually kind of scary. Oh my God, yeah. Listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I feel like, okay, mine's, quite, you, yeah. mine's quite different, right? Because um, the first ever guy that I started dating, I kind of got caught out because I bunked school to go see him. Wow. And then my mum, I was naughty and my mum found <laughs> out and I'll never forget, she like called him up and she like- She called him? Guys, like, How did she get his number? Oh, I had to give it to her. She you gave happy. it to him? She was not happy with Baby never crumbled. Oh, I crumbled. Can I say one time, one what? time, yeah, me and my friend, she made us, she told, made me tell our parents we were going for a walk. Okay. And we, my brother wanted to come on this walk and we were proper was like to him, no, no, you can't come on this walk come on this walk and then we took this clothes in our bags oh when God. we got up the road we changed we went to go link the guy she was talking to when we were trying to come home there was bus replacements and then we got on the wrong bus had to come back so we we basically came home mad late and both of our parents were together oh my. and they were both in like questioning Waiting. us like where did you go where did you go and we said to each other we were not gonna crumble and it was so annoying because I just followed her so yeah guys we were getting told off Nigerian style if you know you know right and yeah we didn't crumble well, that's good though that's good. I'm not really similar one. what happened we so I must have been 15, 16, um, I wasn't like, I didn't get boys. Like I was quite, I wasn't, you know, I had no game. I played football, like boys didn't really fancy me. But my friends at school, oh my God, did they clean up. Jesus, since age 13, they were Bro, out here. Same yeah, thing. they cleaned up. Anyway, so they met these boys, like they were from like where I grew up and we were all having like a camp out. And I think <laughs> they'd all told their parents they were at mine, but I'd said I was at one of theirs. Anyways, their parents being something like suspicious. So their parents have turned up at my mum and dad's house. My dad was like, well, she ain't here. Like, where is she? Oh my God, they searched the whole of Vista. We were in a tent in a field. <gasps> I've never been so, so embarrassed. embarrassed. I wasn't even there. Like, I was just, you know, part, oh, I was just like, I'm just a tag along, yeah. like, just for the vibe. Yeah. Like, there was no I'm not even the culprit. I was like, oh my God, I can never ever leave wow. house again. That's the only time mum was when I bunked school. But my mum, I was quite honest. Like, if a guy wanted to date me, especially that like, was kind especially at uni because uni you're like 18 yeah, yeah, so yeah. even college there was one time I was dating this guy at college and I told her and she was cool with it and I wanted to sleep over because he was at yeah. uni at the time and she said no <laughs> still, still went <laughs> Mommy, I'm sorry. <laughs> and she was like calm with it. And then I had this other guy, like my mum probably met him. Is yeah, he? my mum met my guys. So really? yeah, like she's quite calm. Like we're going to give her the benefit of the doubt enough. Mum, yeah. I love you, I'm sorry. Uh, I feel yeah. like my mum would have been calm. But I have yeah. this issue of like, 
I just don't like telling people what I'm doing. I do, yeah, me too. And I don't like, I don't want my mum to meet people because like realistically it's probably going to go wrong in a month. How long are you here for? How long? Oh, because I'm always thinking yeah. I've my, found my husband, my Prince Charming. I'm like, come <laughs> on. <laughs> mum, here he is. <laughs> But I made a promise now, like, no more. Yeah. Like, no more. <laughs> That's how many she's met. Please don't bring don't people bring over. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I think my mum's met, obviously, my last boyfriend. Well, nothing I say applies to my last boyfriend. He was really nice. But she met him and then she met another one. And then, but she told me as soon as she met him, she was like, dump him, dump him now. <sighs> Parents always kind of know yeah. that. My mum met one. She's not like him. I can't even remember. I think she was all right with him, but I didn't know that people was telling my mum stuff saying that, oh, He's no. not good for Don't her. But that. Yeah. And then I think she told me after that when she found out we broke up. But I think she knew how like into him I was that she was scared to kind of like yeah. oh, she didn't want to stop me from telling her things. Yeah. And then after when she kind of heard we broke up, she was kind of like, okay. Yeah. I didn't hear like good things about him anyway. Oh good. But now I don't really tell my mom because my mom's such a like, I feel like sometimes she just wants me to be in a relationship. So oh my God, that is my mom every it's, day. Yeah, it's like, yeah. And then you've got grandkids now. Yeah. Like, there's so much pressure. Like, I want to give that to you, but I need to find the right person. And then my mom will say to him, oh, what's his name? And then she'll start praying about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, his yeah. name is in the prayer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so like, uh, if he's if he's meant for her, God, please let her. And I'm like, no, that's really sweet. That's, that's sweet. But that is a good thing because she just wants to make sure that it's it's guided with like God. God like it's actually I true. I guess so. But mom, that's why I don't tell you because then she doesn't let that name out of her mouth. <laughs> I wish my mom was holding me like that. She'd probably like message him on Facebook, like, Instagram. Hey, I know you have Chloe. Love from Louisa. Like, Cheers. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> but when I think imagine about it, imagine us as, as parents, you would want your daughter to like tell you, especially yeah, when you kind of know yeah. they're dating and it's like, why are you just like trying to act like I don't yeah. know about guys or men? Like, I think our generation's cool. a bit different though because we've actually been through the trenches. True. Yeah. Whereas I don't think my mom like experienced what I've been through. Yeah, because they all just. So if I have a kid, I'll be like, listen, I know what's going on here. It's true. It's true. Okay, so obviously talking about relationship with parents, um, you guys didn't really have the same kind of co like conversations, but did yeah. you guys go as deep as talking about sex? Like sex education, your first mm. time? I'm really open my mom. Oh, really? you know, From what point though? From um, the beginning? Oh, good question. Not, uh, let me think. Not at the beginning, but I like, it didn't take long after. Because, but I told you my friends in school, they were out here and yeah. she was concerned. And then she was like, listen, and she sat me down. And then I was like, I don't know. My mom's not very maternal. <laughs> She's more like a mate. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, yeah, this goes on. So like to this day, I'm like, oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> do you, like, as in, do you talk about, like, as in, oh mom, I tried missionary the other day. Like that kind oh, of deep. Or is like it just that? Mm. Or is it just surface level? Like, yeah, I've lost my virginity. Or yeah, like. What's, what was yours, babe? No, my sisters, yeah. Like I feel like me and my sisters can talk about stuff mm. like that. But my mom. She she knows she knows I've been intimate. Even saying she knows I had sex. You are one. getting embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, she's like she knows I've been intimate. She knows I've been intimate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One time, one time, guys. Funny story. One time, I was shaving in the shower when I was a bit young, guys. Yeah. She was like, "Are you having sex?" And I was like, "No, I'm just shaving." But why am I shaving? Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna have sex. So she kind of knew, and then she knows, and yeah, we don't talk about it past. She knows I'm having sex. Oh. What about you guys? Um, no, nah, like my mum would ask me like when I was in uni and stuff, and I'd be like, no, no, no. And then when I <laughs> and then one time I when I moved home from uni and I was just arranging my boxes, she just sat behind me one time and she was like, Adiola, have you had sex? And in my head I just thought, point blank. Yes, mum. <laughs> I was like, yes, mum. And she was like, then she was quiet for a minute. And then she was like, how was it? Oh and my I God. was like, oh, and then I was like, Mom, I'm not doing this. Okay, like, yeah. that's where we draw it. But yeah. But I just think maybe I should have right. Because would you feel a bit uncomfortable? I just feel I think maybe because we started it too late to the point that my brain hasn't rejigged to start talking about that yeah. stuff. I think it's in the delivery as well. Like I don't sit there and go, Mom, I was having missionary this morning. Yeah. But maybe like if I had a funny story, I'd be like, oh my god, guess what happened? And I'd be like, oh, we were like content. doing this, and then my mum like is aware. I mean, I'm almost 28, but, you know. And the thing is, sometimes I do want because I catch my mum out, and I think not catch my mum out, but sometimes I do think, mm, mum, you do give me freak vibes sometimes, and I just, <laughs> <laughs> no, just want to be like, 
I wonder what you, like I wonder about you. Not that yeah, I wonder about oh you, God, but I, really <laughs> I never want like, to think about my mom. No, but oh just God, more God. like the chat. Like, what kind of what would your chat be like in terms of if we were to really talk about yeah. sex? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Although my mom is a bit of a prude. Is she? Like, but has, yeah. Do you know what? Has, she finds it funny, but like, if I really said to her something really explicit, yeah. she would pull a face. Like, she always says, she always borrows, don't give blowjobs. And that is a fact. Um, that's, that's like, Vimi. That's fair. <laughs> you know, yeah. Oh, have you asked your mum about her, like, like, se- like intimate, like her past? No, no, and I don't ever want to know. As far as I know, I was sent by a stalk. Wow. Yeah, I don't no, think stop. I could. But the things I hear my mom on the phone to her friends, you know how like you have banter with your friends yeah, and you yeah. might say something a bit like, oh, oh, what you're gonna get in tonight or something. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> I hear my mom having that type of banter yeah. with her friends, and I'm like, okay, okay. mom. <laughs> what about you? I, I, one time we done the Q and A and I asked and I, oh yeah, how many like who's got the question about who's got more like sexual partners and she said me and I was like okay what as in your mum said her no as in me like oh I have more than her oh my god every reason your mum was like me (laughs) no no as in me and I was like my mum's quite innocent like like so and yeah just yeah my mum's so innocent I I know I know Oh my God, it's really explicit. I'm sorry, mom, if you don't want to listen. But like, I have asked that how many people have you slept with and she told me. And I'm, like, I'm going to ask my mom. Yeah, I asked my I mom. Have so many. many. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I think I'm actually gonna ask my mum and see oh, how she how the conversation goes. Because like, oh, um, mom, mom, I was just was, wondering. Yeah, but yeah. Dad, was, has that only been the only one? Oh, yeah. I know he's not. I know Is that. It? Yeah. Oh. But I just need to know, like, like, mom, roughly how many have you? Because you preach a lot. <laughs> You want to know now? Yeah. Oh god. I keep you updated. Yeah, I do. Are you not gonna ask? Did I know. Not, my did mom's. you not tell? Oh, you know your mum. Yeah. Did your mum tell you? Mas? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah, my mum's really innocent. It's just yeah, your dad. Yeah, my mum literally like. Oh, that's really yeah, like you. proper. Just well, that's what she said to me. Right? <laughs> you know, kids might like it, but I believe her because when I think of how they met and their time, like, like my mum literally sent my dad, and that's it. They still together. Yeah, they're still oh, together. Oh, that yeah. is stunning. It's so cute. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, that's that really cute. That yeah, is. that's how I feel like I wanted my life. Like, <laughs> you meet your guy and that's it. I don't no more frogs. That's babe, it. Babe, how many times have you fallen in love? I'm, I'm the same. So One many thing times. about me is I'm going to fall in same. love. It takes maybe two days of talking and I love you. Really? Yeah, yeah no, because after really the first bad. day, I think of the future. Already. So do I. Oh my God, so do I. It's really no, bad. Same. I start planning yeah. holidays and yeah. stuff yeah. and like, I'm, oh, this is going to be really cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've got yeah, this family yeah. event coming up in two months yeah. and maybe he could come. Yeah. Two months is quite long. <laughs> Oh my god! That's one to that one. Yep. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. And then guys, on top of it, okay, cool. Whose birthday's coming up first? Like, oh, is he gonna plan mine like this, or let me plan his? Like yeah. This? And then start like, taking notes of things like, oh, that'll make a good present. <laughs> <laughs> I would just buy it though. Like when I really like someone, I'm really like, yeah. I think I'm a love bomber. Like I just shower them. There you go. Love yeah. you. Like, I got this you. you. They're like, it's a slight flex. Like I got this, and now you get me something. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and then it never comes. Never how, comes. Okay. So how? I think we have very different approach to dating. Like, Do I you? Just, like. You're quite like it takes you a minute to warm up. To warm yeah, we up, should I think be like work. that. Yeah, like you need to take a minute. A guy's got to prove themselves first. Yeah, that's yeah. how you. I think that's the safest and best. Yeah, yeah I like, still have my moments. Healthy. Sometimes it's <laughs> yeah. like, and then when they stop giving me attention, then I warm up. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> like I'm you. here. I like you now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but then, then they was giving me all the energy. I'm like, ew. <laughs> Yeah, but. I think the best way to approach dating in this day and age is to act stush. Yeah? Because, yeah, because, like, yeah, they text you out. Yeah. Like, I mean, I know it's playing games, but it's also, like, looking after yourself. And yeah. Just pace Let yourself a bit more. Let them show you. Yeah. Because I realised in yeah. the past I'd really fall in love with fantasy. Like, all mm. these things in my head that I've made out and what you can be and what <laughs> you can me. possibly yeah. do for me. And then now I'm like... Valentine's Day, why the F is the room not covered with <laughs> yeah, balloons yeah, and a yes, teddy bear? And yes, hello. Because oh. <laughs> we deserve it. Have no. you guys, have you, you ever had something like that? You know the, the big Jeff I haven't had that. Like no. mad. I wear it, yeah, no. I, I mean, the most once. I've ever got, oh no, by my past boyfriend, obviously, but before that, the most I ever got for my birthday was, was a Moschino t shirt. No, but I've had one that done a lot, but he was also trash because he was always cheating on me. So. Oh, guilt oh, present. Guilt present. Yeah. yeah, but that's what I got as a guilt present. He'd oh. literally been awful. And then at least made the guilt present. Like, he didn't wrap it up. He was like in the plastic from the shopping. He like dashed it at me like, there you go, there's your birthday present. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. You thought of me. 
Oh, are you like cringe about all the things that you would accept and that get gassed over? The bare back minimum. In, the bare minimum. Paris. So like the bar was literally never came off the floor. No. no. Hey peaches. So if you're enjoying this episode, you already know you can listen to this on BBC Sounds. We have a new episode out every Friday. Now let's get back to the video. Was like. The what's the worst, bare minimum yeah, what's stuff? The most bare minimum thing to sell? <laughs> okay. This is going to be like, we're going to have like a competition now. Yeah. Oh my so God. So we'll off and then we'll go. Oh, okay, the bare minimum stuff that I got gassed over. Oh my God. Oh, I think oh, maybe oh. just like, oh. I remember on my 18th birthday, the boy that I was with, like, he didn't have a job or anything, and I knew he didn't. But he'd convinced me that he could pay for the hotel in London. And then, like, it came to it on the day, and we were at the train station. He was like, oh, I forgot my card. So I paid for my whole birthday and put myself in debt. What, what did you <laughs> He didn't even have a job. So he'd, he'd, like, convinced me that he was going to give me the money. And I was like, yeah, he will, like, obviously. So I bought, like, Bester to London, was like, £70 each to kids. And then we got the hotel. Oh, my God, how embarrassing as well, obviously, because he had no money. Oh my God, I'm literally wise. <laughs> I so I bought the train tickets and then we got to London and I was like, where are you staying in the hotel? And he was like, uh, I'll check in there. When we're on his phone, obviously, such a cheapest hotel. And we've like got a tube all the way to like Greenwich Premier Inn. And like from Marlowe there. So we got there and then he was like, I ain't got my card, so I had to pay for that. And then I was like, we're going oh. out for dinner. Like I'd bought like dress heels, thing oh around for big night out. I was like, no, no, we'll just get takeaway, which I paid for. I paid for the <gasps> What the actual hell? I probably, yeah. Oh my god! That was a piss taker. He like was he, taking he was taking the yeah. piss on your birthday. On my birthday. Oh, um, oh my god! What? Guess what you got me as well. This what? sounds really ungrateful, but but at this point, I think I can be justified in thinking it was. Just, <laughs> he bought me a canvas with a sparkly shoe on it that said "London, babe." So not, not even London. our picture together. Not even from London. <laughs> Like you literally just saw that walking in out of the station. I can't go. Canvas painting, and it was a sparkly <laughs> shoe. Said London babe on it. I'm not even from London. I... Like you didn't even think Did of I me. That? It could have said best oh. babe. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, that, that, I'll give that a nine. That <laughs> nine day, her birthday. Yeah. Especially when one day of the year. Just to just I, show I, me. I was actually born this day. Yeah. Like my existence happened this day. But what's yours? Because I love birthdays. Yeah. So I, I feel like my, that I accepted this as a bare minimum. <laughs> Go on then. So basically. <laughs> why am I laughing? I already know it's going to be funny and I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to be like, you flew somewhere or something. <laughs> so basically, I had a partner that wasn't like a touchy feely person or like. <laughs> Yeah. Or like very like romantic, like not. He just wasn't like that. You had a mate. No, <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't affectionate. Yeah, he wasn't that affectionate, okay. especially in public. And I'm like that. Like I'm yeah. just when I'm in like someone I want to touch and a kiss. Yeah. Him, and I got so gassed one day. Like so basically. <laughs> Why? I don't even know. What so happened. we parked up basically right next to my house. Like it went even like far. Yeah. Parked up right next to my house and. Like, I got gassed because he held my hand in public. <laughs> like, I Mavia. Just, yeah, that was so, like, like, that, that was the best thing you told you. me. Yeah. And you were so happy. Because <laughs> that person was like, recently. <laughs> no, no. Because that person that does that, so I was like, I don't know we held hands. Yeah. What progress. Progress. <laughs> That's but because dad, he minimum. wasn't a PDA person. Yeah, so for me that was big progress because like, but because I am and I've been, you know, yeah. in a relationship and you're not getting that side of what you love in a relationship. Yeah. I really struggle language. with that, I think. <laughs> what, PDA? No, like not getting affection back. Yeah, back. yeah. yeah. And, like, especially like when like, you're so free. Like I can like yeah. be in a room, like say there's so much things going on, but I'm so focused at on one you. person, nothing else matters. Yeah, yeah, when you have yeah, someone yeah. else that's quite on edge and looks around, it's it's and you don't want to make that person uncomfortable, so you hold back your love language. Oh no, I wouldn't like that. Yeah, it, that. it was it was a bit hard, but that was probably my bare. I think that's the bare minimum day to like touch your girlfriend in public, like especially things like. If, if I'm going to an event, and obviously going to events, you know, can give you so much anxiety. You don't. Yeah. So oh when you come with someone, you you expect that person, that's your partner, to like hold you. Yeah. Like, like feel safe, like yeah. guide you through. And like, yeah. I feel like I lack that a lot in one of those relationships. And that was a, I feel that's the bare minimum, like that touch, because yeah. I really want to touch your partner. Yeah, or, like, I agree. Make them feel secure. Yeah. Yeah, so holding hands. <laughs> 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 and I remember like I was like to him, like, oh my god, look how he's bought me and like this he's so sweet, he knows I love London. Whoa. 
<laughs> and it's the ex- it's the delusion. Yeah, it's a delusion. And it's because you care about them so much, you just yeah. actually think it's a it's nice. Yeah, it's like, no, this it's is not awful. it. Wow, God free oh, us from delusion. Boy. Amen. Let's move on to the hotline because I feel like we're really exposing ourselves now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what our peaches, we call our listeners peaches. Peaches, I love that. So they're going to um, basically tell us what has them pressed and we'll give them the great advice that we do. Love. I don't even know if we give great advice, but I think they like it. They keep coming back to <laughs> yeah, more. Literally. <laughs> Disclaimer, we're not qualified professionals. Hair like this is the press hotline. Hello, press. I don't even know how to even start this. So here goes. I met my husband back in 2018 and when we first met we did put a title on what we were on what we were we honestly were just friends with benefits we were together every single day spending the night at each other's houses with our kids and when I first met him I knew he was still in love with the mother of his child and it didn't bother me because we wasn't together in a relationship we were just friends until we decided to be in a relationship and his baby mom was in her own relationship with someone else and they broke up and his baby mom decided she wanted him back she would show up at my house and just come and hang out and because he had a child with her I wanted her to be comfortable with me being around her son until her real intentions were to until her real intentions were to get back with him Fast forward to a month later and I go through his phone and she was texting him asking if I was asleep and sending him nudes. Oh my God, what? When I confronted her, she said she didn't want my man. They were only co-parenting. Fast forward to months later and she shows up to his mum's house to pick up her son and I left out of respect. And when I came back to pick up my man, she was crying, yelling, why is she here? Make her leave. Talking about me. Huh? Crying, telling him if he really loved her, like he said, when they were f-ing in his mum's bathroom, then he would make me leave. And he told her to go home because he was coming home with me. And when I asked if they had sex, what is she going got on? crazy. <clears throat> Wait, who was having wait, sex wait. in the bathroom? Her, her husband and his baby mum. Yeah. Right, dumped. Oh, right. wait, no, it's not over yet. Fast forward to months later, I found out I'm pregnant and he calls her to ask if he can pick up his son. She said no, but would meet, would meet him so he can spend time with him. So later that day, he tells her I was pregnant and she told him that it wasn't his baby because her boyfriend told her I had sex with him (laughs) and it was his baby and it was his baby. So she's convinced by man to break into, so she, she convinced my man to break into my house and take his stuff so they could be a family. Long story short. Guys, what on earth? Listen, long story short, I have my daughter and his baby mum's was so upset that we had a daughter together, she stopped letting him see his son, but was calling him and texting him, begging him to leave me and my kids to be with her. And he wouldn't leave me. So she started using, if you have sex with me and you can see, um, she said, she started using, if you have sex with me, you can see your son. So he did. Fast forward. Oh my God. Fast forward a couple of months. She asked for money and he said no. So she pulled up breaking windows and banging on doors, yelling at him, saying she was going to tell me everything. Brackets. Mind you, I already had a feeling because why do you only call him when I'm at work? So fast forward three years later, his now his now son is nine, nine, and now he put him, now he put him self on child support and pays extra and she still won't allow him to see or talk to his son because he married me and changed his whole life for me and our kids and had two more kids with me this is a lot that sounds like a tyler perry movie yeah there's so many moving parts so she's a crazy baby mom basically basically so but why is she firming it if he's sleeping with a baby yeah i think at the start, they were just friends with but benefits. But what is the dilemma? Like, what does she want us to say? Yeah, what now? is the dilemma? She just kind of said to us, she's happy with two kids. Babe, she just me. wanted to just say that, what? She needed everyone Yeah, is, is it like, should she leave or should she stay? Because if it's a question, leave. What? You, that's too messy. But they're married now with three kids. Why did she marry but he, him? Her though? husband's still effing the baby mum, right? Oh, no, <laughs> he's on child support now. 
and he doesn't. He's changed See, his life bit, around. He changed his life yeah. around to be with her and the kids. And now he just deals with the child support. But she doesn't let him see the son. The baby, the the baby, baby mom, mom doesn't, doesn't let, let him the, see the, the nine-year-old son because she's basically a bitter baby mom. But Ooh. to play devil's advocate, she can only be so bitter. He must be feeding her something. Yes, he can't that's, do, is that, that's very unhinged if you're doing it without yeah. a, you know, him giving you know, it these guys I think mass. sometimes baby yeah. mums though, like Ooh, coming from the that. land of the Lulu where I used to live, um, you think I'm the first, do you know what I mean? So you will never, I, you will never understand him the way I understand him because I was before you. Do you know what I mean? That's... Ugh. But yeah, and I then know you what think you, mean. you just think like, but I know him. Like, how have you married her when I know you love me? But that's the that guy's fault. The land of Delulu. Yeah, yeah. That but we need exactly to stop doing is. that though, because I feel like there's this reality TV show called Love and Hip Hop. Love it. Um, Pia and Guns. The, yes, you already on know. Speed. You yeah. like, I don't need to say like Pia that guns. whole situation. When I think of Amina and Tara, Tara gave them the the. the <sighs> she was never the wife. She was the first baby mom, and she was always like, "How? How did you not know, Amina? I I have kids yeah, by him. I have so kids, and it's like it's the gross. girl. Like it doesn't matter. I don't think as if as if like just because I had kids it doesn't, by him, it means I am the number one. The I was one. It doesn't. At the end of the day, he married the other uh, one. Yeah, and I feel like, but he did always go back to Tara. Always. Because cause she would let him. Yeah. Because that's what I mean. Like, but who wants to marry a man that just wants to? To I, feel like I would yeah. not have married this man. No, same. So I don't know what advice she wants yeah, us to Yeah, I would to like to give. think I wouldn't do that. But I think when kids are involved, it's, it's harder. Hard kids. Yeah, yeah, it must be harder. Like a baby dad, it's like you would think you have some sort of soul tire with, I assume. Mm. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like the dad needs to take control. Like, I know oh, he sounds reliable. But don't, yeah, but exactly. how does the dad take control? She seems like cool. a manipulator. Take so. it to court. Like, if you really like, but you need what, to, what to see her yeah. son? Like he needs, to, he needs to tell her. Like, listen, I want to see my ki- my son. I want it to be a family unit. I don't want my other children not to know their brothers and sisters. If you can't find a mature way for us to settle this evenly and fair, so that that they grow up in that environment, and I get to see my son, let's go the court route because you can't. That that's half. I half made that child. Like it doesn't matter if I'm a bad husband, bad boyfriend. I want to be a good father, and it's up to him to show that he wants to show up and be a good dad, regardless of the mess, and be a family. So man up and sort your kids and your family out yeah Just, neither of them deserve it the baby mom's crazy but neither of them deserve that emotional like stress and turmoil and kids are involved like it's a broken family like oh, i just feel sorry for kids in situations like that because there is the adults being petty yeah because she's like been i would say really cordial and put up with a lot yeah. so i feel like but then you can't rely on this man, man. yeah yeah, so I would just say and take your kids and sneaky. try and do the yeah. best for you and your kids and whatever happens with that man and let him be. Because she shouldn't be the one to go and now try and go to yeah, the baby no, mom and be like, let yeah, me yeah, I don't think that's how it's Yeah, it's not. I wouldn't. I mean, I don't know, I don't have kids, so it might be different. Yeah. Because <laughs> I feel like when you when people have kids, like it's just a holy world, isn't it? Yeah. More yeah. responsibilities, you're less selfish, I would say I'm really selfish. Mm-hmm. So yeah. And your actions actually don't know that energy trickles down to your children. Yeah. They can sense it. They can see mm. it. So the best thing is trying to give them the best environment to grow up in. What's 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 with all this hostility? Like and kids we we clock, it's we true, know. You know. I feel like oh, she's just gonna have to wait for the kids to grow up to understand more. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's that. Because well. I've got a half sister. Yeah. And I feel like we never actually grew up together. Like I oh, can't how remember. Did you find our that childhood. growing up, like having that side and not no into a bit later. Not no into a bit later, but um, getting together. A bit I don't later. know. I feel like she'll come around the house sometimes. It's so funny because she'll come around the house sometimes and it's like, you know, like, you're like my dad's other. Right. Yeah. Right. And it's like, I don't, right. I, I don't know, like, obviously because I'm my mum. So I would just always, and you know how I'm like anyway. So I'm just very like anti, like, I'll stay in my room. I yeah. wouldn't really try. Yeah. And then it was really during covid like recent was that recently yeah, yeah. Like where i kind it. of like gave her a chance because <laughs> <laughs> yeah because i was just like oh, but bless what my sister she's so that... sweet yeah oh, now like, you know her, like yeah, yeah now I, I just started to know her a bit and i was like we're actually family what like, what the hell and it's not even like my parents had ever said like there was beef yeah you just kind of like not a scene you but... represent your mum yeah. yeah it's like you stand yeah. by this yeah, side yeah like, especially when you haven't seen the mums together you yeah. kind of think hmm 
Is there something? Yeah, is am there... I inside here? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the thing is, my mum is so like nurturing and caring, but it's just me just always just, I don't know. <laughs> like, because my brothers and everyone were cool. But uh, that's it. You, you know, protect that's your, me. Your, yeah, you want to be My dad's apart. like remarried and she's got kids and I refuse. <laughs> but so, why though? Because it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> It, what do you mean is not your cup of tea? Do you mean as in you don't feel comfortable getting to know them? Or? No. I've Why? Tried. They're just like, they couldn't be more polar opposites to me. Okay. And now I just like, oh, CBI. Yeah. CBI yeah. Do you feel like it was left too late? Uh, well, this has been going on for 10 years now and I finally threw the towel in at my dad's wedding. I think I have got a bit tipsy and said some things. But then oh. I, was like, I don't regret it. I'm not remorseful. Yeah. But I, do, I think in my head, I'm representing my mum. Yeah. If Louisa was here, what would Louisa do? And that's what I did. I just chose mum. Chose yeah. mum. Ah. But yeah, I feel like some... To, to but those kids, kids young, sort themselves they out yeah. they do, they like, do. later. Just don't talk bad vibes around them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's time for Madness with Maz. Okay, well, moving on to Madness with Maz, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about this thing I saw on Twitter. So basically, yeah. there was this girl who went to this club for her birthday. She went with 10 of her girls. So they went kind of, no money. Come, and they got let, on a table. They got on a table. Yeah. And then the guys on the table were like, yeah, bring your girls, we'll pay. So I think the bill just was quite a lot. And then in the end, the guy was like, oh, can you kind of at least con like, contribute a little bit? Yeah. And then she was like, oh I yeah, see, sure, like, bantering, like, hey, how much? Like, not that deep. And then he said 500 and how many girls are there 10, 10. so 50 quid each listen yeah. and if it's your friends oh, let's even get to it but that's the main concept and she basically um done like a video saying how you know she's her pretty privilege like she's used to this this ain't nothing it was given very like i'm a boss babe that like, i go out with no money and i get handled because guys want to i'm used to this life so girls want to pay for my pay for us kind of yeah. thing and it really sparked up like so much like people were really going in they were being quite savage but me personally i think it's a mad situation. I, like, she, like, doesn't do not think she doesn't deserve hate for it. Yeah. But, stuff, <laughs> but if, you, if you're, you know, stuff like pretty privilege and, you yeah. know, whatever. It's like an unspoken You don't need to circumstance. You don't need to put it online. Up. Yeah. Because what was the point in the video? Just to show, it was like to show cockiness. Like, because yeah. she paid, didn't they pay? Well, I don't. I don't think it like, was. I don't think she actually said it, how yeah. it ended. But it gives you know, like when a guy keeps talking about money, 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 and then it's like you see him do something and acts broke, and it's like, but why were you talking so much about this money Listen. that nobody asked yeah. for? Mm -hmm. I feel like there was no need for the story. If you're used to pretty privilege, you don't have to keep talking about it but yeah. I feel like pretty privileged doesn't mean you knowingly walk out your house with Without no money. money yeah I agree it just happens naturally like you might yeah. go to pay for something and someone will be like just oh luck. no I yeah. got this yeah. and you're like okay but, but I think yeah are you guys like this I would rather if a guy's moving off I'd rather show you up and go buy a bottle for me yeah. and my friends oh, than be me. begging for you to like mm. nah do you know how many times I'll just go to a bar like I'll bu like, buy a drink it's I don't, it's fine like do I don't need but to buy a drink me, before I obviously got all these amazing opportunities, <laughs> I couldn't do that. Yeah, but that's I true. Don't you wouldn't think, expect. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to a club and expect like I'm getting on a table tonight. Yeah. Like, okay, cool. I got twenty quid. I can get two doubles, and then I'm going home. Yeah, yes. you, that. Is that like said, well, before? Is that yeah. you get a little bottle on the way in the car. Yeah, <laughs> and then <laughs> we'll like if we can buy a drink in there, we can. This is yeah. the limit yeah. and then if we hit the jackpot then whoa happy days yeah, yeah. but so what is the so the intention is to get people you don't know to buy you drinks and sponsor your night out but Basically, yeah but it's vibe. literally like inviting 10 of your friends fully knowing it's you have like the, no also money like two or three girls yeah Okay, I can see it happen but yeah a whole group of 10 girls on a table it's too do much they also, do they there's 10 of you like that's a a school good, bar. And it's actually yeah. someone's birthday. birthday. It's Why not like have, a random, let's motive. just end up in the club. Yeah, it's someone's birthday. If anything, your friend, the birthday girl shouldn't be paying for anything. Yeah. Friends, if you're coming rolling up, let's all get let's a table for blah, blah, blah. Let's all split it, have a good time. And if anything, boys should be buying bottles for our table because there's such so many beautiful, pretty, privileged yeah. girls. Yeah, like, that's that's just having fun. Send the ball. Yeah. But I yeah. just think, oh yeah. I have mean, you guys ever done bless it Bless the lady. Yeah. Well, now I'm not paying, like, well, maybe what? quickly, like before we end, like have you has your pretty privilege got you somewhere without even you trying? Yeah. yeah. Okay, tell me. Ooh, have you tell been me to this. Dubai? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that one. Yeah, that's true. That's I have to pay for a 
Yeah, that's two. Be the girl. I think actually a really, a, a really, really good one was this was in 2019, so pre Love Island, pre boob job as well. So. <laughs> Really? All of this <laughs> clipping extension, everything. The last I, I literally spent like 190 pound on this holiday, like flights down holiday. We went to Ibiza. Oh wow! And I'd never been to Ocean Beach before. And me and my friend walked in, and we were kind of prepared to pay the price. And it was we walked into Ocean Beach, and the girl was like, "Oh my god, you guys are stunning!" We're like, "Oh, thank you." And they're like, "We're gonna put you on Tony Truman's table." <gasps> this is Tony. We ended up on Tony Truman's so table and it's been a penny and we went out with like all of them lot. I think we went out oh. for like three days and it's been a penny that whole holiday. Wow. Yeah. Oh, because this one lady, bless her soul, when we walked into the ocean was like, you guys are stunning. I'm actually going to put you on this table. And I was like, <laughs> wow. I was prepared to put myself in there, but I didn't. <laughs> I, <can't laughs> I don't think I've had it like since. I've never gone out there and been like, yeah, I'm not paying for it. Yeah, yeah. I think now in a bit And of if a I position. did, I wouldn't do a video, but I'll just no, keep that one quiet. Like, oh, that's my luck yeah have um, you had anything wait? I think mine was like one of my birthdays it was like my 23rd or something yeah. and then like some guy was just like oh just took all me and my friends to Libertine tables bottles Ooh, kept, Libertine yeah when it was okay. popping like bottles you know them gold bottles yeah, hey, 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 hey. bottles pom bottles yeah. I fell off that night went home and I was like wow what a lit birthday <laughs> 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 and I don't even know none of these guys like yeah. from anywhere. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. I can't. My my most recent one was actually just a nice, calm thing. So I went into my local coffee shop, and then I got. A, I asked, "Oh, can I have a small red berry?" And then the girl gave me a large. She was like, "You're just so beautiful. I had to give oh. you a large." Oh. Oh. That was really That's nice. That's really cute. That was a nice one, yeah. So that was my using, yeah, I guess that was that. But, oh. but you didn't go in there and think, I'll look fit today. I'm, no. like, I'm not going to pay for my life. small baby. Exactly. <laughs> like, no, you come in ready to pay for your ish. And if you yeah. happen to get something extra, yeah. that is your pretty privilege. And on that, yeah. I think we can Wrap round it, it up. up. <laughs> Good segue. Okay, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for watching Peaches. Remember you can listen to every episode of Pressed on the BBC Sounds and be the first to see more from us right here. Make sure you're subscribed to the BBC Sounds YouTube channel.